Greetings folks, coming to you from Benicia State Recreation Area. I think it's also known as Benicia State Park here in California. I'm out and about hiking a little, enjoying the nice weather and geocaching. I didn't realize the view up here would be so great. Um, I was actually going to start a video earlier, but uh, I wasn't sure where I was. And so uh, I didn't start it. And so I don't have the sign that's at the entrance of the park. Maybe I can get that on the way out. Anyway, um, it's a pretty little hill that I've climbed up here to grab this geocache with a great view. And uh, I'll start the video now and kind of go backwards the way I came in. Before I descend this little hillside though, I thought I'd show you these rocks. They're really cool. And um, there are little indentations in some of them. Like I'll get close up to this one. That I believe are Native American grinding stones, you know, where they would grind up uh, the corn or whatever it was that they harvested around here. Very cool, very cool rock formations here. So I'm just taking that all in and now I'll head back down the hill. Okay, down from the hill now. That's where I was up there. And just showing you around, there's a couple of parking areas over on this end of the park. Of course, you got this great view. And another little path here. There's all sorts of paths and trails and um, actually an asphalt road that you can jog or ride your bike on. These are more of uh, walking paths down here. After taking that walking path a little ways out, I thought I would get on this paved road and just kind of see what I might see doing it the easy way. <laughs> okay, sometimes when you're wandering around, you strike it lucky. Looks like I've happened upon a native plant botanic garden. And yes, a geocache hunt brought me here. So let's see if I can find that. And I'm going to look around in amongst these uh, plants and flowers. Looks pretty interesting. Okay, I see that these plants and flowers are all marked and named. And you can stop here and learn a little something about the uh, wildflowers and maybe some history. It looks like uh, people that maintain this trail. Here's one of the signs along the way. There are several talking about the plants and the waterway and some of the creatures that inhabit the area. Trail's very nice here. Just kind of cruising around. It's a couple of little bridges that kind of cross over some of the, I don't know, maybe there's a little creek here in the rainy season, hard to say. Here's the view. Here's one of those signs up close, and this tree is a cottonwood tree. There's a good shot of it. It's blowing in the wind here today, or the breeze, and it really is pretty. I don't know if you can hear that. very soothing. There's a long distance view of that tree. Really pretty. Time to find the geocache. Okay, I found it and this one was tricky. Looks like a, a bolt with a washer. It was stuck in a very obvious place. Turn it around and you have to extricate the log, but there's the log. I'm back down on this asphalt ro road and I'm looking way down there and thinking that maybe I will go back to my vehicle 
and drive to a different parking place so I can at least show you the entrance of the park. Okay, heading back up to the entrance so that I can show you the sign, I noticed that you can do a little bit of camping here. And when I say a little bit, it looks like no tents, no campfires, and probably just an overnight when you're en route somewhere. Entrance coming up. Okay, this is what I saw as I came in. This is the entrance. Here's a trail that I will take after I finish the video. That looks nice. Here's the descriptive sign at the entrance, and I'm going to hold it here if you want to stop and look at it, maybe check out the map. And then I noticed one more interesting thing. Right over here, there's an entrance, a walkway, and it looks like it takes you possibly over the freeway. So I couldn't resist <laughs> finding out. I'm walking over that walkway right now. It is taking me alongside the freeway. That's uh, 780. There's the campground that we just looked at. And let's just see where this ends up. That's what it looks like. <laughs> Certainly not in nature anymore. <laughs> but I'm thinking this is where the locals who know about this walkway, they'd probably come over here and maybe park and just walk in. Otherwise, the fee is $5 for seniors and $6 for adults. Yep, that's what's going on. Good park here and walk in. Okay, I'm back. Boy, was that noisy. <laughs> no wonder people want to get out and get into nature. It's quiet. Okay, I think with this view, I will wrap it up. People are enjoying their walks and their bike rides out here today. And I have enjoyed mine so far, and I'm gonna stay a while. So for now, I'll say, Thanks for coming along with me, happy wandering, and I hope you've enjoyed a quick overview of Benicia State Recreation Area, also known as Benicia State Park. See you in the next video.